real ballsy. They're, they're probably the worst band I've ever heard, and I've heard a lot of bands. Those are our uncles, man. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah. Put it that way. They've looked out for us, they've given us advice, they've just been great friends, you know? Usually up to no good, you know, Bunch of all the bad stuff. Spoiled brats. Um, I, I like them. They've done a lot for people that, you know, have gone the other path in life. So um, it's just of great respect that we get to play with it. I like them because, well, there's really one reason we brought them on this tour. They're kind of like the strokes of punk rock and they bring girls out to the shows. <laughs> yeah. You know, where just everyone feels involved, you know, where age isn't of, you know, there's no discretion, you know, where girls are invited, where young kids to old men are invited to older women, you know, just everyone's down, you know. And there's not a lot of shows where you see that, you know, especially in the punk scene. I was going to take a bus ride out to Blaze Castle, to be honest. I was. He's the tourist a of the band. And then I was going to take a bus ride out to Blaze Castle, then check out the Roman ruins. And then I, got, then I heard, oh, right, you need all four of us for this interview. I like to have a wank by the pool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, a nice bangers and mash, mate. Yeah, bangers and mash. I would still it's be asleep. <laughs> I just heard about the David Bowie documentary I can download on BBC. I'd That's be in true. bed. On the iPlayer. He skated for one of my friends, Tony Alva. And when when, when I was in another band, I was in a couple of other bands, we played the early punk rock soundtrack to all of their skating. And when I mean they, were, I'm talking about the uh, Dogtown guys down in Venice. When did you guys start skateboarding? Well, once we turned pro, you know, we turned into <laughs> skateboarders. Um, Skated for everyone, you know, Etnies, America, you know, <laughs> All right, chocolate. Um, uh, when he's done lying to you guys. <laughs> um, I don't know, I started skateboarding like, what was it, like nine? Yeah, when I was like 10 or 12 or something. I was a bit late to the game. That's what you do when you're bored, you know? Uh, when I became a, a Skid Row high school youth, that's when I started smoking pot and wearing baggy khakis and audios and hanging out at the skate park. Yeah, you used to, if you could pan down to that yellow bag on the ground there, I used to I, I used to have a thing on on uh, right down there. You see it? Yeah. Dimitri left that last time he was here. Yeah. I, that's yours, I think, Dimitri. The, our, our rider used to say, "No blow, no show." But now, I'm all clean, baby. Higher power, higher living. I used to fucking bring the board on the road and jump down stairs and fucking drink six packs and, you know, and these things still happen, but it's 
just more refined now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit chiller now, I'd say. Like our tunes. 